come to the Covered Bridge Festival, you expect covered bridges and fall foliage and good food. And Indianapolis family did not expect slave shackles for sale. This is the photograph 46-year-old Linda Wan took of the slave shackles she saw at the vendor's counter. I was disgusted. Um, I seen the slave chains and I couldn't believe that, you know, they were there for sale. I picked one of the cuffs up and it had something to do with um, that it belonged to a, a plantation. Uh, the other chain or sleeve that I picked up, um, it had um, Negro for a Negro child or woman. Juan was at the festival with her 22-year-old son, Jamario, and his girlfriend, Celine. Jamario confronted the vendor's employee about why the item was for sale. They said they would continue to do it. They said they got the change from down south. I'm not exactly sure what that means. They didn't say if they were local. We went to the festival today to ask patrons how they felt. I don't believe that that seems to be very proper. Um, honestly, I think it's just deplorable, actually. But inside one of the covered bridges, we talked to an 18-year-old performer who supports the vendor. If you don't agree with slavery, don't buy it. Like, then eventually, like, I believe that humanity would fix itself. Like, if we just kind of like did our own thing, like there wouldn't be all this butthurtness. Confederate flags were flying at some vendors and hardly anyone at the festival was aware of the controversy. Juan says all she wanted was a pleasant festival experience like she's had for the past 15 years. But in a flash, it was ruined. In Mansfield, Derek Thomas, RTV6.